for this is her pain. Today, man, I'm going to talk about poles. I'm not talking about the type of pole that I'm using in the Olympics, like pole vault. I'm not talking about light pole. I'm talking about the poles that I see them doing them go out and um, ask some people some questions. So one in particular, I'm going to show you why I'm telling you the masses run out of narrative. The general public is not well informed on anything. They run a narrative, whatever is the biggest narrative that they hear in mainstream media, music, television, that's what they repeat. The masses know nothing. Polls are good for if you want to ask who you like more than a person. They say if you want to do a poll, do you like Umbre more than Marky Joe? Then that's what polls make for. But when you talk about serious things like performance and causes, now you actually need research. Now you need data, facts. Right. So when they're not doing the polls them, ask some people actually know the matter about. They go use two for sure and they said all people run on these narratives, you know, whatever them see in the media, whatever them see the most, whatever is most popular, whoever is most popular. First one. The marks were the best performing ministers in Ironman. The marks them who's the best performing Serving minister meaning saying a power and they ask him who's the best opposition minister, best performing opposition minister. The winners were Christopher Tufton and Lisa Anna. That's all you know. That's all you need for ear to know. It's the polls, right? When it comes down to serious issues, are farcical. Christopher Tufton and Lisa Anna. Christopher Tufton and Lisa Anna, best performing ministers. Lisa Anna? By performing, do you mean having a good social media page? Do you mean like the gram tunnel? Lisa Anna? Best performing? Tough done? Or is there two people with the name? Is there a second Christopher Tough done? Maybe because I know maybe people are the same name. Is there another JLP minister named Christopher Tough done? With another ministry, it cannot be the Christopher Tufton who is in charge of the Ministry of Health. Is the best performing minister in the world. Do you know why these two names are at the top? Because they have strong social media presence and strong popularity. Especially Lisa Anna. Remember, Christopher Tufton ran one of the biggest marketing campaigns for a politician and a ministry you've ever seen with the Jamaica moves. And you already see how that end up with him. When they say, him and woman, this and woman, that, I don't know. Hey, a big people problem that a few in business, uh, a human business that, but the, the part where them say them start tie politics into this and that, no, that's the public business. Remember that Jamaica moves and the whole scandal running. Tough can run one of the most, one of the biggest marketing campaigns ever seen. Made himself the face of you know being healthy and this everywhere Jamaican people look them say pictures of Tough can. Jamaica moves, Jamaica moves. And it moved them to the top of the best performing. In reality, it was nothing more than fluff. Because you judge a minister's performance by what's going on in their ministry. The Ministry of Health is the best run ministry. You see, in order for Christopher Tufton to be the best performing minister, that means a few ministry would have to be the best performing. That is absurd. The esophagus isn't esophaging. The Ministry of Health where Jimmy... Jamaica has lost some of its best right, nurses to Uncle Sam, Canada, UK and them place there. They mean the Ministry of Health where rat and sit and run up and dunk for a man in a bed while they are sick and dead. The Ministry of Health. Have you seen Ironman's hospitals lately? Have you seen Ironman's hospitals ever? Have you seen Ironman's... The only thing want to keep the Ministry of Health and the hospital is going are some medical people who at this point are performing right? witchcraft that's the only way we can describe it with what I work with and what I do is basically witchcraft they perform to keep some of the hospital them going you ever go look at smart and public yet? some of the nurses and some of the doctors they are witchcraft they perform to keep that going tough tan 
best performing men is going to fall for the fluff. It's marketing, it's hype, it's image. That I want to see. That I want to keep seeing. So the narrative gets formed. Oh, Jamaica moves, Jamaica moves. Marketing can don't even start on Lisa Anna. Best performing opposition minister. How do you judge a best performing opposition minister? What by what I'm saying at the House of Parliament? It's popularity. It's popularity. Lisa Anna is a former beauty queen. But let's call that speed a speed when it comes down to performance, results, cut the crap. Lisa Anna barely make it to her own constituency. Barely make it. But after last I heard she was leaving politics. This idea that Lisa Anna is some kind of exceptional politician is tied entirely around right, her popularity. Whenever you ask people right, questions three, four levels deep, them can't answer nothing. Alright, since she's so good at this, tell me about this. Tell me when she do this. Tell me when she do this. Then start stutter. You know nothing except the fact that she's very popular. And she's at this point a superstar compared to her colleagues. Lisa Anna, even inside of the PNP, them they laugh after that. Whenever them ask these questions, people answer the names of them say the most. Who them sip on TV, who them see the most interviews. Because you have some politicians who are more quiet than others. Some of them always are the interviews. Some of them well active on the ground. Some of them have big media campaigns, sports. Them want their name always come up. If we're talking about best performing minister, this is how you know Ironman people. The masses are ignorant to even basic things. And people just want our narratives and popularity and what them see all over the place. In the mainstream. There is no way Christopher Tufton is a better performing minister than Ed Bartlett. No way. But Tufton is way more popular than Ed Bartlett. No. Of course, Ed Bartlett in a tourism, which is, I guess you could argue, it's a layup. But Ironman tourism is well known. But you can inherit something and mash it up. Enough people take over good things and mash it up. So even if you argue that Bartlett took over something where they are really good, him could have mashed it up. But he didn't. But Bartlett don't have no media campaign. Like Tufton. So the fact that they would run a poll and people would say Christopher Tufton, and Lisa Anna are the two best performing ministers. She's shown all need to know about polls and things that matters, like performance, results, no feelings gone through the window. No effort to look on data and anything there. No effort to look on research and we have to back up it. Preference, facts no matter. You can like who you want to like, but performance leads me on to the second poll. Let me see them drop with you. This is just shown us say. The masses simply run on with them here and repeat to them here narratives. You see them say them for a poll for them quote unquote main cause of Jamaica's high murder rate. No, when you're going to say main cause, no, you actually need to know what you're about. No, if somebody say what is the main cause of diabetes, you need to actually know what you're talking about. If somebody put out a poll and say, what is the cause of diabetes? Going around and asking, man, who probably can't even spell diabetes, don't make no sense. The results of that poll is null and void if people are speaking from a position of ignorance. Because you're asking for the cause. Anybody can give an opinion, but that don't mean that the opinion is valid. Because when you use words like perform, cause, faster, Right. Win more. These are things that involve measurements. These are things that need to be tracked, studied, researched. Main cause of Jamaica is high murder rate. Number one on the list. Poverty. Of course it has to be. Ask the Jamaican masses. What caused murder? Why is Jamaica so high on the murder list globally? The answer is always going to be poverty. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Repeat. Because that narrative has been at the forefront of Jamaica's quote-unquote fight against crime and violence. That's all Jamaicans been hearing since the day of them born. Jamaica is top five, top three in the whole world for murder rate because of poverty. This is a narrative pushed by politicians and entertainers and their lackeys who are in academia who they use to try and back up. It's rubbish. It simply doesn't make sense. If poverty was the cause, 
of Ariamon's high murder rate, Ariamon's murder rate wouldn't continuously rise since the 60s. I've literally shown you poverty rate, shown you unemployment figures, all of the numbers that they want to use and track them from the 60s come right up and you can see the Ariamon, the Jamaican who lives in 2024 is way better off than the Jamaican who lived in the 60s. This is a false narrative. The Jamaican who lived in the 40s, 50s and 60s were way poorer, less employed, less educated, less social mobility, less, less, less. Furthermore, they place them right, with the most murders are not the poorest places in Ariman. These are narratives. You don't even have to leave Ariman and come to other countries. You can stay in Ariman and go parish to parish. The most peaceful parish in Ariman is consistently ranked as top three poorest. A parish that has been largely forgotten when you talk about development. People are repeating what they hear. Inner city poverty is not worse than rural Jamaican poverty. If you ask Jamaicans, the schedule you ask Jamaicans, what the poorest place in a Jamaica? They might go give you some bad man place. They might tell you that Tivoli, people are the poorest people in the whole world. Right. And people in a Tivoli now on a TV and the light, that is rubbish. Yeah, the man them TV bigger than your own. They might go tell you jungle, Rima, De La Vega City. All of the places they are associated with bad Dela, 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 Dela people them. Have you been to Dela Vega City? People here about Dela. People here about Laristan. Them things that, right, they're visualizing an entire community make out a zinc. No light, no water. People that eat rat to survive. It's rubbish. Tivoli, Jungle, Rima are not the poorest places in Ireland. Man from garden with laugh off of you. The reason people think that is because of the narrative pushed by music. When the music all they hear is the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto, Tivali, 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 jungle, jungle, Dela, Dela, Dela. And people think this is where there's a poverty that is in Dela that is so extreme that's even Somalia. Would look on them and say, boy, I rough for Della. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. This is a nerve. This is what we, you hear it long enough. It becomes fact. It's been debunked time and time again. And they keep trying to hold on to the narrative. Because they don't want the public. This is what I want. And if you go through the list of the main cards, you see it don't even make sense. So the masses are ignorant to these things and just repeat with them here in a song. Poverty is number one, 24%. Second, corruption in general. What does that mean? We're talking about murders. Right. We're not talking about, you can't, be, you can't be talking about diabetes, you can't be talking about cancer, you can't be talking about in general. No, let's get specific. We are going to show how the Jamaican politician has won the narrative race. 7% main cause of Jamaica's high murder rate. Politicians were scored 7%. We're going to show them how politicians have won the narrative race. They've managed to ease off all of it. They managed to ease off the burden by placing it on the boogeyman, the ultimate boogeyman. That is called poverty. Hey, you say about rolling calf when you grow up. Poverty is a rolling calf. Poverty is a rolling calf. When you want to escape anything, when you want to blame something, you just throw it on poverty. Poverty, 24%. Corruption, in general, 23%. Indiscipline, 8%. Politicians, 7%. Politicians, 7%. Politicians, 7%. The same bad man place one I talk about, it was politicians who helped turn them in a bad man place. And then the 7%? Because they've kept pushing the, the poverty is to blame argument for so long, as no, right, the imaginary boogeyman poverty is shouldering a, great, a greater burden than politicians. And corruption in general, 23%, but politicians are 7%. So wouldn't politicians be playing a greater role 
in the quote unquote corruptions in general. Family structure, 7%. That's way too low. Gangs, 6%. Unemployment, 4%. So shouldn't unemployment be high? They're not even thinking straight here. Unfair slash inadequate justice system, 4%. 4% Corrupt police 4% This just shows that the masses are lazy So corruption in general When we require a kind of specific thinking And application to nothing 23% But politicians and corrupt police are 4% Listen to this one Weak laws 2% Stop it Weak laws 2% Better on a when you not do no polls them, ask the people in polls about things they're actually knowledgeable upon. Like, ask them about Gaza versus Gully. Ask them things like that. Now ask them about them serious matter. Yeah. Two percent weak laws, scamming slash get rich quick schemes. Two percent. Two percent of the cause of Jamaica's high murder rate. Scamming, domestic violence. Two percent. Are these? I don't understand. 2% so domestic violence and weak laws scored the same for the cause of Jamaica's high murder rate. 2% listen to this one laziness slash people don't want to work 2% even though them vote corruption when it comes down to breaking down the corruption by the people who are involved in the corruption as it relates to murders and crimes it don't even add up because if they go score corruption in general as a high then politicians should be way higher and corrupt police should be way higher because those are the two people who play into the corruption for murders. Gangs operate based on them politicians link and them police corrupt link. Right. Corruption as it relates to crime comes from people in positions of authority right, who abuse and misuse them powers. That's politicians, that's the police, that's the, the, the man down at the city council. That, it doesn't even make sense. People just giving out song with them here. With them here in a song. Poverty and the poverty and the corruption of the system. That's why corruption in general makes sense to them. When it comes to breaking down the corruption by politicians and corrupt police, all of a sudden, the figures got real low. We clause the 2%. Scamming the 2%. Unemployment the 4%. But poverty the 24%. Jamaican politicians have managed to dodge responsibility for what them turn Iron Man into. When the place they name Bakawal, right, the murder is never so high. Thousands upon thousands of poor communities in Iron Man, they only managed to turn some of them in a bad man place. Some of them. The narrative that inner city and a bad man place are the poorest communities in Jamaica is false. It's not even up for debate. Music taught you this. Politicians taught you this. So called scholars taught you this. Agents taught you this. Rural Jamaica is poorer and less developed than any bad man place. You have places in rural Jamaica right, that still don't have running water. Man have to carry water on them head distances right now in the 2024. Right now, they don't have running water. Forget about light. And them don't even know where gunshots sound like. Once every 10 years, some domestic dispute one and somebody dead. Tivoli and Dela are not the poorest places in Jamaica. These are narratives pushed by the mainstream. These are narratives pushed by entertainers. And notice, your favorite artists them don't big up poor communities. They big up communities that are poor and violent. Why? Why would they keep bigging up the most violent communities in Ireland? They don't big up the places them. Right, that are poor but have held the peace for decades you now. No. Them gas up the place them. They are most violent and destructive. And you're telling me these are not agents. You're telling me your favorite politicians are not agents. You're telling me your so-called scholars are not agents. For years, for decades, they've been working to push the narrative. No man of poverty. Why them not blame poverty? Because poverty is invisible. It's a boogeyman. Then can say, well. Right, my band comes out to where I'm do. Mr. Baltician, are you really going to tell you this? Yeah, but my band comes out to where I'm do. It's rubbish. 
So any kind of pull from the general public on matters that involves things like cause, performance, right? and if actually in and if you actually question people who are knowledgeable on the subject, this has been debunked time and time again. You don't even need to compare Ironman to other countries. You can compare places in Ironman, go parish by parish, community by community. If poverty right, was the quote unquote cause of high murder rate, right, and if poverty make places violent and bloody, then Dela, West Kingston, East Kingston wouldn't be nowhere near it. It's a false narrative. Common sense alone can debunk it. Forget the data. Common sense alone can debunk it. Jamaica is top three in the whole world for murder rate. Right? That alone should tell us eh? it can't be poverty. Because if poverty cause high murder rate, cause high murder rate, then wherever right, poverty is highest, Murders will be highest. Cause, I mean, so wherever you find this, wherever you find enough of this, you're going to find enough of that. If sugar cane cause cancer, that means that wherever people consume enough sugar cane, they're going to find the most cancer. That's how cars work. As a matter of fact, if you really want to have an interest in the debate, debate this. Crime have a greater effect on causing poverty than poverty has a greater effect on causing crime. Because wherever, wherever any community you see with high crime, right, no kind of high level of wealth and development no go on this. But you can find plenty of poverty stricken communities that does not have crime. When you're ready for that debate there, link up. Patreon squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know, no life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Listen.